I'm going to put a 3 eighths. We're going to check the 3 eighths of the lag with the expansion, expansion shield. And that's also 3 eighths. Um, this doesn't, if this galls up, no problem. I have a backup 3 eighths uh, we can use. Or, but let's, let's do this. Let's just go ahead and anchor that down. Yeah, it looks, it's rusty, right? It's okay. No harm, no foul on that. It's going into a leaded shield anyway. So, it's getting a little bit snug. Some rotation going on. Let me snug this up, and I'll show you how we're going to do it. So I have a, a torque wrench here that I'm going to use to make sure that I'm applying the maximum amount of pressure inside it. Oh, pressure uh, um, um, against the walls by using this torque wrench. And I'm not there yet. Let me pause it and I'll show you in a second what I'm doing. Okay, so I had to change it to inch pound scales. Now, watch what happens when I pull on this. It maxes out at 90. Even though I'm moving the beam bar, it's not increasing torque. It's not increasing. And so I've actually reduced it. It's now, so it's about 85 inch pounds. All right. So when I do the other one, I should do that at 85 inch pounds but this is the max it's doing it's the max that I can get out of this all I'm doing is ripping it up now ripping up the shield so 85 inch pounds is the max now let's go ahead and start pulling on it with the, with the uh, um, tester okay I'm gonna go freehand again it just helps me give you two different shots so we're at zero we level the tooling and we're gonna start pulling on it and there we are we're at oh it's already failing. It's already failing at over 200 inch pounds of force. See how terrible that connection is. It's already done. It's already pulled out. It's failed. So here it is already, already failed. It's, it's nothing. And you can see the shield, how it's expanded. But one, it's it's not much grip on that because as you can see the powder. Let's see if I can get this off. As you can see in the, the uh, it's just it's just not much, and yet it did expand, but it just can't do much. And it went all the way down to the bottom there. We can see how far we went. Now let me take this shield apart and let me uh, let me. Use the bolt over here on this one. So now on this one, we'll see how many inch pounds we can get. And it's gonna go way past what we where we are, but I mean I'm already at a hundred. Let me take this off and go freestyle for you. I'm already well over what this thing was doing. I'm at a hundred inch pounds and more. Now this is just so it, it's on a bit of an angle, but that's how it would happen accidentally. So I'm not gonna try to correct that. So, I'm at 120 inch pounds. As I'm moving the beam bar, moving the, 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 the it's not increasing in torque. So that's it. That's the max I can get out of it. I can still keep driving this down, but there, there's nothing going to change. I'm just going to rip up the uh, the lead anchor. But we got 120 out of that. Now let's see what happens with the uh, testing. Okay, I'm quite not on the bolt where I need to be, but on the screw. But let's go from there. We're already at 800, 1,000, and, and 120 inch pounds with epoxy. This was, what, 90 inch pounds? So we only, and we only failed at 200. So you can see you can change this shield into a superhuman shield. Super shield by adding epoxy. So, why add? Why not add epoxy to your shields? I like the idea of the of the grip there. I, I, I'm I'm gonna guess somewhere the threads might fail, but I'm going. We're we're there. We're around 1,200. We're there. No reason to try to guess anymore. So we're probably. I'm guessing going to be stripping the. I'm stripping this. Stripping the shield. Because of the threads there, 
ripping the shield apart. That's my guess. We'll know in a second if we start seeing the... Yeah, I'm going to still stick with that. Let's see how wrong I am. Nope. There it is. And we didn't have much. We didn't have much in there, but we got 1,200 pounds with just that bit. And there it was right there. There's the most of the securement. And there's the lead. So, that shield, as you can see, has now been made. Probably, let's see if I can get a light on it. Let's see the lights here, the lights on. Let's see if I can get you a little closer. All right, we went from 200 pounds, 90, 90 inch pounds, 200 pounds of force failure, around 2, 2 210, 220. And that was just with the lead anchor. But the epoxy one, it failed in the, uh, the, the actual lead failed, the threading, if you will, of the lead. Not, not the screw, but the lead itself, uh, the leaded anchor, stripped out. Um, and this one, it, slid, it, it failed by the just sliding out the concrete to anchor failed sliding out, right? It slid out. Once you epoxied it, it changed the failure to, and you got, we also got a greater foot pounds of 120. Once we epoxied, because the walls are just, couldn't give us any more. This one could give us more, but our screw limited us. So we came up to, um, uh, 1,200 pounds, 1,200 foot pounds, 1,200 pounds. Yeah, 1,200 foot pounds of, uh, of load capability. Now for the sport of it, let's drive this one into there and see if we can get something else out of it. Okay, so now we have that same lead anchor. I drove this down until I felt like it was tight enough. I didn't bother with it. Let's go ahead and, whoops, let's put some force on it. Okay, we're starting to get some tension on it now. All right, there we are at 200. And remember, this is an open hook. Where'd you go? Open hook, see it? So, it might open up on us. This might stretch out. I'm at... I am think I'm maxing out already. That it's, uh, it's either opening the hook. Because I'm at 400. Because I can see I'm turning and I'm not going up. So, let's see what's happening here. Yeah, it's opening the hook. So the hook is capable of doing more. We'll stop there. So the hook before failure. So rating this hook even, I would say no more than 400, 400 pounds. I would give it less than that 100 pound hook. But the point is, this lead anchor can hold that hook. So if you want to add a, uh, if you want failure to happen, and you want to control failure. Remember, I said I don't want you failing structurally your concrete. You would get something sacrificial. In this case, this hook is going to. Uh, start opening up at 400 pounds. So if someone were to try to put more than 400 pounds on it, it would start failing. You can see it roll out and get ro rolling out. And I'm still under 400. I'm at like 390. Yeah, I know the gauge might look a little different for you, but my eye can see it. So we're going. It's still rolling out and straightening up until a 90, as you can see. And so... It's going to ultimately just straighten up. So let's just, let me just dial it back down. And I'll let you look at it. So you can see the, uh, what I mean by structurally, you rather have your, your sacrificial, your anchor fail. In this case, this fails first. I like that better because now we don't have any structural concrete failure at all. And this is reusable. Uh, well, you could probably change the size of the. Uh, you could probably change the size of the um, of the anchor to uh, to make that make it, the lead anchor still work. Meaning, this is three eighths. You might be able to find one just a little bit more, a little bit larger. Um, yeah, that's going to need some pliers. All right, hopefully this was helpful for you, but I'd rather see this. This is just a total failure. It's dropping down, and, and this one identifies itself, and it, it's stronger. It's stronger, 
it gives you a higher value. Now you can have a closed hook, and that would be, come back here and weld it, or weld the closed hook, and that would then give us our rating here, which I'll do in another video. I might even take this one, bend it back, and tack it, weld it off. Um, so, again, no structural failure of the concrete, but just our anchor, our secure, uh, not our anchor, but our, uh, our um, what we're hanging from is starting to open up. And we had that at 400 pounds, which was great. Great, because now you know that you can max the, the advantage of using a hook like this if you're a, um, a business owner or something like that and you want to control the failure. You don't want the failure to be anywhere else. There is some stress in here. Some create some. It's still 400 pounds of stress created in here. So it does. It is a deduction in this zone um, of 400 pounds of force. It is a deduction in there. So keep that in mind. Let's take a look at the screw there. I thought I could get it out. Let's see what it looks like. How much um, lead might be inside the screw itself? And no, I don't see any lead. Little, little shiny spots there. Looks like it engaged one, two, three, um, four. Four of the uh, roots, pretty good. And you can change the thread pitch to help you, but this is the pretty much the pitch that works for these anchors. All right, hopefully this video was helpful to you.